Who owns big business? In today's world, that is a difficult question to answer. The control over big business is strongly intertwined. Corporations share directors, they share owners, and often even own each other. But we know very little about the properties and the generating mechanisms of this global network of corporate control. In the CorpNet Research Group, a team of social scientists and computer scientists work together and employ cutting-edge data analytics and large-scale network analysis techniques to study the network of corporate control over 100 million firms worldwide. But how can we use these methods developed in physics and computer science to answer the question, who holds power in contemporary capitalism? Our computational social science approach already led to rather surprising results. For instance, we are interested in the role of offshore financial centers in global markets. And therefore, we use techniques from computer science to conduct a large-scale network analysis of over 70 million corporate ownership relations. We uncovered a network of what we call a chain of global corporate ownership. These chains are used by corporations to minimize and evade corporate taxes and to create secrecy and opacity. Strikingly, the most central nodes in this network are not the well-known offshore financial centers such as Panama and the Bahamas, but a selection of well-respected developed countries. And the most central country is the Netherlands. Big data analytics and network analysis allowed us to uncover these hidden corporate structures. And this is crucial knowledge if we want to better regulate these global corporations. Another example how advanced methods help to better understand power in the global economy is data mining. We use data mining techniques to uncover who the largest owners are of big business in the USA. And we found a rather astonishing level of concentration of ownership, in particular among the so-called passive asset managers. Taken together, the big three, BlackRock, Vanguard and State Street, constitute the single largest shareholder in at least 40% of all listed firms in the USA. Our next step was to scrape a set of different data sources to find out if these big three actually use their shareholder power against management. The first results indicate that this is indeed the case. The big three may be passive investors, but certainly not passive shareholders. And this means that today, only a few huge investors play a highly influential role in the governance of big business. This hidden feature of contemporary capitalism could only be discovered through the use of data mining and data analytics.